Hey everybody, it's back with an episode of My Garage. We're looking for a project car. Look at this monstrosity. I it, I think it's missing some some front bits here. Because it is, it is sagging. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Oh, she's all rotten. She's rotten. She's all rotten. I don't like replacing big things like that, but I'm starting to think I might. I might enjoy such things. I don't know. Here's one with four wheels. Look at what is happening over there. <gasps> Why is that Harry Potter all over the place? Stop it. What are you doing? Excuse me. You need to you need to just just to chill a little bit. All right, let me see. What do you got going on? One bad inner fender. We got uh is this is this the entire floor? Oh jeez. Oh, maybe not. I, maybe this doesn't go in here. Um What is that out of? That is a cab carpet. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Okay, this thing needs some work, but Yeah, we're gonna need this this okay, wait a minute. Yeah, it's it's sort of here. Mm, it's a long box. Uh, it's a, it's a very long box on that truck. I think they're all like that long. Now there's the green one over here with the terrible suspension. Now we don't have to get a truck. I'm just looking at them because they're available. Mm, is this a shorter box on this one? I can't tell, but I like the idea of tackling some of this rust, and we're probably just going to turn around and sell it anyway. So to make a few bucks, so let's let's buy this. See what falls out of it. When we, oh my God, it's nine grand. We can't. Well, we're not buying that. <laughs> okay, let's let's see what's going on over here. This is seventy nine. So still out of our price range. Um, I guess uh, maybe this uh this El Camino. <laughs> how much how much you want for you? Well, okay. There's no good deals at the junkyard today. You might be salvageable. What do you What are you worth? Three grand. But uh, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. Okay. Now we'll get this towed back to the house. We might do a little more work to this than normal. Get her all done up. She's got a big old dent in the roof there. So maybe we will. Uh... And then we're going to go take a taxi back to the house. Okay, excellent. Yeah, we might try to tackle some of this problem here. Where's my, uh... There we are. First step first, wash your bits. Always wash all your bits. The roof is not going to pound out. We we know that. I don't think a bondo out either. Um... Uh, so we may have to replace the roof if we want to salvage that part of the vehicle. And obviously it's going to need a paint job of some sort as well. Get the rust off. Look for some interior rusts. Maybe replace that window a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get my hammer out and see what we can pound back into shape. And uh, we'll go from there. How are we looking here, boys? Mm. Okay. Perfect. Squirt, squirt. All right. Let me see. Um, hammer. All right. Let's see, uh, see what we got. See what we got going on here. I noticed we got a little little dingy dent right here. What's that? Check the oil. What? I don't think there's a point to that. Oh, wait a minute. Back in your old. <laughs> hey, look at that. Now, this says here that. Oh, I think we got it. Nice. Okay. Wait a minute, here we go. Maybe we can at least put the trunk lid back into shape to some degree. Okay. I can't believe actually how well this is pounding out as, as much as it is. So it was 1800 bucks when we looked at it. Did that, yeah, it gave us $400 more. We could just pound, pound all day. This is what we could do. Okay, let's see. We got a little bit of Bondo left. Would this... I was going to hope I could just Bondo the crap out of that. 
Bondo Bob in full effect. Okay. If we're going to look, you can see the reflection in there. Okay. If we're going to do this, we need to make a quick trip to the garage and head across the road here for a minute. Excuse me. Um, yeah, let me in here, please. Thank you. I'm not sure. I think it takes eight. Ah, yes. Here we go. Okay. Add, 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 add. And add. Excellent. Okay. Hey, my, my pry tool's in there. Oh, good to know. All right. Taxi back to the house. Now we got all the Bondo. All right. Doop, 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 doop. And the pride tool can pop out because we're going to need it too. And then we're going to put that away and grab one of these. I said we're going to, there we are. Just how much Bondo. Can we put on this vehicle? And correct the damage that's here. I'm just very curious, like how much of this car is going to end up just being Bondo. Or fiberglass filler, if you prefer that name, but I'm a brand name when it comes to my Bondo. Oh my God. Wow. The amount of fix this will do. Holy crap. Okay. Beautiful. Oh my God, we're, we're going to bondle the living crap right under this vehicle. Also, too, we got to remember that our, oops, our, uh, our truck still needs um, windshield wipers. So <laughs> we probably should do that at some point, but we'll get around to it. And a window. It needs a window still. Wow, look at this. This is, boy, I wish it would fix that. Look at, look at this. It's, it's, it's totally repairing so much of this. Okay. That looks like it's as fixed as it's going to get. Now this still hood still has spots that can be fixed or so the game says, but I'm not seeing it. It's not letting me do it anywhere. Wait a minute. There it is. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, that's, that's definitely not a straight panel, but on the plus side, is this out? No, it's not out yet. Okay. We are managing to like fix these doors and stuff a little bit. It's costing us a thousand dollars in Bondo, but that's all right. What is it actually called in this? Let me see. It really works. It really works. My plast. It even fixes. The BDSM car. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Now, let's see. If you're in the BDSM car, I'm not going to stop you. Okay. Just as long as you're consenting adults. Well, this this stuff's magic, man. <laughs> okay, so let's bust out our the rust ore. See, but what, okay, what is the value of it now? We totally ruined the value of it. Okay, probably because... Yeah. Nobody likes Bondo. But if we cover up the Bondo. Okay, that's a little bit. Oh, here's a rust right here. Getting that. I think there's some rust in other places that I can't quite see because of the. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's going to. Uh, cause problems. Oh, look at all the rust on this roof. There we 
we go. There we go. And how bad is it now? Well, color condition's not great. What's the original color on it? Is 46939E. 46939E. Let's see, color. 46939E. Now, the question now becomes, do we want to sell this car eventually? Well, probably, because... Uh, it is horrific in, in all sorts of ways, but we love it. Okay, let's see. We're not going to do a perfect job on this, probably. Did we not get the right color or something? 46939E. 46939E. Yeah, we got the right color. It's just every panel is the wrong color, maybe? Is that? I've never had that happen before. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to use up a lot more paint here than we want. Oops. Okay. We'll get a, we'll get another one or two of those. No, the pe spray paint really fixes a lot of problems. Um, when it comes to the value of your vehicles, like right now, my U-Haul truck is not very valued because uh, the game does not like two-tone paint jobs. I wish it did, because a lot of the trucks from that era had two-tone paint. There we go, around there, around that. We're not going for perfection on this. But it would be nice to have some of the, the color better. All right. And if Bush comes to shove, we can always cut the roof off. <laughs> so there is that. Also, really broken parts like that window can cause uh, problems with the sale price. So it's always best to get rid of those. There we go. <sighs> Okay. How we doing? <laughs> we got a lot of a lot of spots that need touching up. Here we go. There we are, back on this. Oh no. You can leave and then we'll grab one more spray can for now. Nobody wants to see your bondo, buddy. All right. Boy, we have... What is wrong with this thing? Okay. Nine. Three. Nine. E. It's only worth 1500 bucks. How is it only worth 1500 bucks? And the con color condition is, yeah. How is this the current color? There we go. Now what's it worth? 2600 great. Oh, no. So, this is not worth any more than... Uh... Let's pop that rear window out. There's got to be something we can do to do it better here. All right. Let's get that out. 
trash that. This this won't sell for anything, so we'll get rid of that. And we are rust is not great. Color condition is not great. Now a lot of that's because it was just a hurried paint job, but eh. I should really de-rustify the inside of these doors. Okay. All right, okay. Wait a minute, did we get the inside of these, this part of the door? Yeah, looks like it. There. There, okay. Inside the door frames. Spending a lot of time on this piece of crap. <laughs> Just, yeah, this sounds like a scapegoat thing. A lot of rust here, actually. Okay, what do we got for color thing now? Still 2600. Really? Yeah, it's really not a fan of the, the color here. It's probably just stuff behind the doors. If I grab my wrench. I don't know where to leave my wrench. Wrench. Oh, no. We've lost the wrench. Where did we leave it? Oh, there it is. Jeez, it just blends in so well now. Let me see here. Pop off all these door panels. Plop, plop, rust. Oh. There we are. A little bit of rust here. Jeez, I, I missed a ton of the rust on this, eh? Okay, let me see. Oh, no. There. Now we're going to repaint it. In this color. Hopefully. <laughs> Dude, stop doing that. All right. Oh, it ran out. And by spray can, we got to get at least three grand. For, isn't that what we spend on it? Okay, that can go like this. Gonna paint some of that in there. How's my color now? Still terrible. It's <laughs> still to Oh, look at the, f the floor is all rotted out. Uh, I think we're gonna need a different project here. Because this one is definitely not great. Let me see here. Where's this paint here? Wait a minute. I didn't paint the whole front end on this. When did this forget missed? All right. Well, you know, sometimes this happens. Does that help any? Oh, yeah, look at that. We got our, at least made our money back on it. Well, we're going to sell it. What do we get? 
Oh, okay, so we didn't make our money back. That's fine. <laughs> that is fine. All right, let's get up there. Okay, now this can all go in the back of the junk truck, and we're going to go get another project that's actually salvageable that we can sell. Yeah, okay, perfect. <sighs> Preferably one with some good dents. All right, let's move you in here. I hope the hose followed you in. Oh, didn't I? Oh, yes, it did. Okay, let's see. You can go in the back of the junk truck. All right, and uh, let's uh, go sleep, and then we'll head off to the um, the morning here, and then we'll go take a taxi to the junkyard. And this time, although we didn't make any money on the last one, we did learn some, some valuable lessons in life, such as where's the beef, and can you imagine how much I love you? Moo, 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 moo. Used to be the old A1 steak sauce commercial. These cows were singing, You know you're the only one for me. Yeah, could ever be you. I'm just singing because this takes forever to load the junkyard. And then it's going to pause again right now. And again, when I walk around the corner. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I like the parts just start falling off the truck. <laughs> Here's a short bed. A pickety up truck for twenty seven hundred dollars. Now this this is interesting to me. Oh god, for nine grand, of course it's interesting to me. What about this wolf? It's really rusty. Okay, we'll buy that. Excellent. We'll clean it up. Close that door. Um, de-rust it, sell it off. Whoop, okay. Tow you back to the customer sign, and then I'll take a taxi back to the house. Yes, yes. Quibble quop, little car, quibble quop. Okay. Ooh, this one's got chrome rims. Nice. And nice chrome rims, too. I just want to put a paint on with a hose. We'll smooth it out later. I watched a whole thing years and years ago, but a guy that painted a car with uh, a roller, right? A lint-free roller. Sorry, I'm scratching my eye. And, um, and how he was talking about how it's not really about how you put the paint on. It's how you finish it and the prep work you do prior to putting it on. Because he had to sand it a bajillion times to get it smooth, but he did it. And the car, like, one, like, like, shows. Okay, so whether the severe case of the rust or ruse, this ain't half bad. Hmm, here we go. Okay, let's put this up here like this. This is going to need more sand here in a moment, so I might as well grab it right now. And cha cha. Okay. To the rust. So how much is it worth right now, just so we know? 53. Great. There we are. Boy, this this whole thing just changed how rocker panel rust works in this game. Because that was always the hardest one. You had to like remove the rocker to get most of that off, and it was a pain. Well, this thing is a, this thing is a it's all surface rust, but it's a rust bucket, man. Okay, that's most of it. How are we doing for rust? Eh. <laughs> but on the other hand, now that we've de-rusted part of it, it's worth even more. Uh, part of me wants to slap that other fender on there. Because I can. Mm. Let's see here. Oop, excuse me. Let's see. All cars wolf. 
And we're gonna do body. Let's see. Front left quarter panel. In the hood. Okay, let me see. What the? This this isn't right. What? Is, that's not right at all. What did I select? Stop it. Let me out. I thought I had it on Wolf. Well, poop. Okay, well, you know what? Not that big of a deal, but annoying. Front left. And I'll buy the hood. Jeez, what a waste of money. All right, no problem, though. We can resell them. <sighs> okay, we'll get most of the money back for those. <clears throat> I wish there was a sellback option you could do. Because, like, I could have sworn I had selected Wolf already. It doesn't really matter, but... Okay, let's put that on there. Nice. Okay, where's the where's the Roche? There's the Roche. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, here we go. There we are. There we. Are. Oh, I missed a little rust right there. Where's my little de-rusting machine? There's the hose. Okay, right there. Okay. Oh, see, remind me in the future that we're going to get one of these and lower it and make it into a V8 monster. That'd be so cool. Okay, we want 775146. 775146. 77 Five, one, four, six. That might be the right color. Yeah, I'd say it's right enough that the game won't care. <laughs> so there we are. There it is. Okay, okay. We're in this whole new panel here. I do love putting new parts on the cars. Really feel like you accomplish something and you get new parts. You know, same thing in real life. It depends on the vehicle. Like if I'm if I'm rebuilding some like Toyota Tacoma, right? Especially an older one. Or a Helix, Hilux, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm gonna go junkyard parts. Because it'll save me a lot of money. And uh if it's an older one, I don't care. They're just a garbage small truck that, you know, fairly reliable, gets a job done. They're not, they're not pretty. But if I was, say, doing like uh, an old 1980s Toyota Helix, Hilux, Tacoma, SR5 or whatever they called them back in America. Um, yeah, then I'm probably going to get new parts if I can get one. If I'm, real, if I'm rebuilding the Toyota from Back to the Future, <laughs> that's that's uh, that's gonna get new parts. It's one of my favorite trucks of all time. Hmm. But if it was like a, a '90s one, I would I just don't care. Ten grand, dude. We doubled our cash. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Mm, right in the right in the right in the, the the new car buying stuff oh no we should do you know what's nice is they have the cars in town we can go buy sometimes we can afford those with eleven thousand dollars maybe they were the ones in that other shop oh where okay let's go uh taxi to the garage what time of day is it Twelve forty-seven. this one over here Usually they have minor damage. Ugh. 
Oh, yeah, here we go. Load it up. Load it up with your good vibes. Food is cheaper in town. Thank goodness. <gasps> so, oh, oh, what happened? What did we get? See, like this is broken, but not that broken. Look at that. A little bit of rust, maybe a broken spring or three. For 10 grand. How much I got? 11 grand. Yeah, we're buying it. Okay, let's see. Buy it. Sweet. Oh, look at this. We could have bought this one. Ouch. <laughs> that one. That's a lot of damage. Okay, let me see. So I would say the suspension is busted. Maybe a couple of springs are broke. Let me see. Let me just peek on in here. Uh, yeah, I'd say we got a bad spring. Oh, wait, do we even own a spring compressor? Oh, maybe. What is wrong with it? Got a bad control arm. Okay, let me see. All right, should we drive it back? Hmm. Does it even run? Oh, yeah, it'll run. It's going to start slow, but it'll run. <sighs> well, it won't let me in the car, so we're, we're going to have to tow it back. All right, let me see. Uh, tow to the customer sign. I'm going to go see if they have the spring compressor in here because I'm not sure if I have one and I think I might need one. There we go. Let's see. Did you notice that winch on my shelves? You can attach it to the flatbed trailer that's outside. Mm, you know what? I love your accent, buddy. All right. Let me see. Add that. Okay. We're going to taxi back to the house. And we're going to take a look at these springs. And the best way to look at the springs is to take them out. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Broken front spring. Yeah, broken rear spring. This is a LOD convertible coupe. Oh, where is it? LOD coupe. Uh, suspension. Spring front, spring rear. This should get at least back on some sort of ev even footing here. Uh, spring rear. Okay, here we go. One side up. And another side up. Looks like we may have some damage here. Definitely got some dent. Or is that just the body? That's a dent, right? What's the word now? Eh. Uh, where's my hammer? Or bond? You know, we could just bondo it. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's just the body line. Okay. So we got a bit of rust on this side then. Take these broken springs and learn to fly. Okay. Oh yeah, I wonder if I got two spring compressors now because I wasn't sure. It just made more sense to buy one while I was in town. So this is going to need some paint and a little de-rusting on this side. Oh, I did have a spring compressor. Well, that's good to know. Doesn't hurt to have two. I'll lose one eventually. All right, let me see here. Okay, grab that. All right. What color is this? Oh, there's more rust somewhere. We should probably find it. Hmm, not seeing it anywhere. Inside of the doors, maybe? I'm not seeing any more rust. 
only rust I know of elsewhere is in here, and that's this doohickey. Needs a new battery, but otherwise, the, and a new header maybe, but. What is that? Oh, it's the hammer down there. Otherwise, the engine looks salvageable, and the. Uh, let's get the paint. What, what paint code is this? Um, 874D67. Eight seven four D six seven. Uh oh, jeez, wouldn't let me buy it. Okay, here we are. Oh, dude, pick it up. Okay, alrighty. Now I noticed the whole rear end in this thing was kind of shot, but you know what are you gonna do about that? Is that rust or dirt? Looks like rust. There we go. All right. Color should be good now. You know, rust is good. Color's good. Now, if we just... Uh, where's my wrench? Now, there's a lot of really bad parts on this car, I've noticed. Hey, the air filter's good. No, that was not what I wanted. Where, which one did I loosen? Ah, oh, great. I was over here like this. Okay. I loosened something on the inside. We're just going to pretend it didn't happen. So this is crap. So we need an exhaust manifold. Let's grab that. Lod coupe engine. We need... Ah, uh, here we go. Well, that looks like the air filter housing. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. And that. And then what else did we need? I know we needed a battery. Battery? Where are you? Are you under accessories? There's something else up front I needed. What was it? The header. Carburetor still looks good, which is nice. Okay, let me see. Where's the... Oh, wrench. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Okay. And then. I have apparently lost the air filter. Oh, there it is. <laughs> air filter can go in. All right. We'll get the lid. All right. And then we will disconnect. That battery. What if I could sell the battery to that dude? Put a new battery in it. <sighs> Let's see here. Okay. We'll go get a uh, exhaust manifold. Where is it? Well, that's turbo. This car has no turbo. <laughs> Turbonium. 
All right, let me see here. And this can go. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I'm filming when I got home from work, and so I might, you know, you talk all night at work. And now my throat's kind of tired, and I'm very, very sleepy. All right, let me see if this can go on like this. Okay. I bet you it runs great. 12 grand. We're going to make a couple grand off this. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Yeah, she runs. Excellent. Okay. I think it looks nice. Is it perfect? No. You can just tell by peeking underneath and looking at all the uh, problems it has. Like, the entire rear axle is... <laughs> and one of the control arms up front is, is bad. But it's very drivable. So I'm going to sell it. Okay, now we got enough money for a... Ooh, this is rusty. I'm not going to sell it, dude. Rusty parts. All right, let me see. Um, We got to pick a project car. So, in the comments, leave a project car. If you decide that car should be silver, black, or white, your uh, entry automatically be not considered. Um, Because I hate those colors on cars. And... Uh, Got myself on my Bondo and stuff. But we should have our own little project car, I think. So, yeah, below and, and then tell me your reasons. And um, make, a, make a sound that I would make for my intro. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe tell your old Ford... U-Haul trucks to subscribe. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. What's that? Oh, look at this. That's where that went. I lost it that one time. Well, poop. Out. Out.